right here. It's gonna do it for show. Yeah. What's up? What's up? It's freezing out here. It's cold, man. How you doing? Good. How are you? How you doing? Hi. Man, so look, I told you that I had something special for you. We've been friends for a while. This friendship cool, but man, <laughs> lately I was thinking about you, honestly. You so cold, you know what I'm saying? I should just get a whole ice sculpture. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so cold, oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? That's cute, because nobody's ever done that for me. Nikki. Some people like to call me Miss Nikki Baby. My dad is Arabic Italian and my mom is Moroccan. No one's lacking anything in our family. They've owned a lot of nightclubs and real estate for about 35 years now. I'm in line to run the family empire. I'm smart. Um, I have a really strong personality. I'm pretty much a boss. I currently manage three of my family strip clubs. I'm a very hands-on manager. Every single night of the week, I'm there. I take care of my VIP clientele. Because of that, I'm very well-respected and well-connected in the music industry. I've been dating one of the hottest producers in the game. He goes by Molly Mall. We've been together for about almost two years. You know, right now, we're kind of sort of broken up. And you know, we play that game back and forth. We break up to make up. My man knows he can't live without me. But tonight, I'm going to meet an old friend of mine, Sincere. Give me a hug. Sincere is one of the hottest promoters in LA. What's up, what's up with you, Miss Nikki, baby? If we've been busy, we've been having I know, a I lot see. of fun. And you know, lately I've been kind of wanting to reach into the music video business, so I wanted to see what he can do for me. So listen, I wanted to ask you something. I got some girls, I got about three girls, they're real cute, and they want to show off their little dancing moves, whatever, so I figure you Sincere the man around town, you got your hands and everything. I do. Maybe we could just set something up. Like, they could be in a video and dance or whatever it is. You know what I mean? My boy actually shooting a video. OK, cool. We'll set up something, get your girls in there. Yeah. You yeah, hustling out here. What you doing? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm single now, technically. I've been hearing know? some stuff. Well, you know, Ma been in Vegas and stuff. He just try to act like he just doesn't have time for me. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's crazy. That's Excuse crazy. me. Like, I know. who the f wouldn't make time for me? Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm so confused. He, he is a cool guy, but you know, he don't seem too smart. He's been trying to work his way back. He gave me this ring. He sent me these flowers over here. You know, he's making these little gestures, but you know, I just, I just, I don't know right now. You should take a long break. Why? I like single Nikki, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where's my next guest at? The girl getting some surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all is not right. Remember what we said, though. We're going to keep this very. Yeah, that was a mistake. It's like idea classy. to keep it cute. My whole thing is she should have stayed out of my business from the beginning. Address Molly. Don't ever, don't you ever address me sideways on Instagram. Okay, well, <laughs> relax a little bit. Today is the moment of truth. I've invited Miss Nikki and Miss Sika over to finally get to the bottom of all this Molly drama. So my plan is to keep them nice and relaxed with a soothing massage. And if that doesn't work, I've got Tiara here for backup. Hey, Nikki. How are you, baby? I'm good. This is Tiara. Hello. Hey, boo. Masika, this is Nikki. I know you guys already... We already acquainted. Mm -hmm. No, one of another. Yeah. We've never met officially. So I have no clue what Molly saw on this about-to-pop inflatable walking plastic surgery warning. Maybe it's her daddy's money, but whatever it is, I really don't care. I'm really glad Morgan set this up because we're about to get to the bottom of it. I brought you guys together because, you know, I hang out both of y'all, you know what I mean? And I just don't want no tension. I want, if, I, if I'm having an event, I want both of you guys to be able to be there. Y'all need to talk. I came here today because I want to see what bitch could think she would even come and take my place, Miss Nikki Baby. But by the looks of Masika, I don't know what Molly was thinking. Did he pick up this hole on the corner somewhere? There's simply no comparison over here. You know, I just, I don't understand what's going on with you and Maul. So maybe, you know, maybe he fed you something or maybe you thought something. So let's just get it clear. I've been with him for a year and a half. I'm his woman. We were about to move in the house. I had a ring from him. So I don't know if you understand the severity of our relationship. I just don't know what's going See, on. This is like Chinese that I don't speak because he's saying something, you know, completely different. Right. But considering that he's saying he's your man and he's saying he's my man too, it does make it a bit 
interested. So you you still think you're right now he's your man? That's what he said. No. According to my phone. My According to my is, phone, you are not his woman. And that's vice versa. When I'm listening to Masika say that Molly is her man, I'm just looking at her like she's crazy. Everything she's saying is going in this ear and out the other one. Me and Molly, we broke up. A couple days later, I see pictures of you laying in the bed with his cat. I'm thinking, you're a homewrecker. And you would too if you were on but my But how side. would I be a homewrecker if you said you were broken up? Because it's like, you don't waste no time. Everybody knows that man belongs to me. I That's never why knew. people tagged you and at you, me in your no, photos. No, no. Well, he, he said, posted the pictures on my phone, tagged himself, and wrote the caption. I can vouch for that, because I've heard that too. I would love to believe you, but my loyalty is with him. So are you still with Molly right now? Yes. And you're still with Molly? She's not with him. She's not either. Yeah, I am. I just found his condo I'm for him. Still we don't even use condoms, so I might have his I baby. I said condom, condom, not condom. That's nasty. <laughs> Clean the plastic out your ears, bitch. Not only is she stupid as <laughs> but she's nasty to you, a nasty bitch. I never knew you and him were together. Listen to this. No, just not you no, think no, no, that you I'm be just polite. Letting... You be polite. I am. I'm no, you're not. No, you're listen, a bitch that's about listen, to get listen, cussed listen, the listen, out. Calm down. If you're too loud right now, stop <laughs> talking to me. Like, Excuse seriously. Me? You gotta remember who you're talking to. Remember I don't give a You gotta remember who you're talking to. You're not nothing to me, so why am I remembering? stop. Remember what? Like, be nothing. Remember. When you see me, too. bitch, I'm talking to you. In real life, please. In real life. In yeah. real life. Seriously, I'm done with this conversation. Not in my house. That ain't popping up. Word to me. That ain't popping up. Don't say another word to me. Sit down and chill out. Sit down. What's up, Morgan? What's up? Chill. That's I'm what's up. I'm tripping. I'm sitting here. I'm good. She's so mad. I don't know for what. I'm not mad, honey. I don't give a rat ass about you. You're talking, but your face isn't moving. The plastic is too much. I can't take okay. it. This is all just a misunderstanding. What's, okay, and Morgan, what's a misunderstanding? So, the fact that you think that she's coming for you and your men and this, like it sounds like a man just being a man. I don't come for y'all get to this. I don't come for any woman's well, man. If, if you want to claim him, you can just go ahead and have him. I'm glad you know your place. Well, no, no, honey, I don't want leftovers. Missy, you trying to take my leftover mine. for a couple weeks? No, my but man loves me. You know exactly where he came back. No, I don't know. You're just charity to us. You like a peasant to us. I don't need shut the up. Up. Shut the up. Yeah, Morgan, no, I told you I was gonna respect you know your what? house. You need to but know I swear for God, if no, this no, bitch no. said you one more mother thing to me. Anyway, you got what? I'm letting you know right you now. Don't, you don't let me know. You look real hot. You know, you don't. Cool up. Down, bitch. bitch. Shut the exactly, know, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. What you mad? You got my back tonight? Exactly, bitch. Okay. Ooh, I look so good, you're though. Full of work. Why are you so mad that I look so good? Get the dog out of my face. Don't come for me. Nikki, let's, let's go. For you, bitch. Why are you in this Exactly. Don't come for me. She's throwing drinks for us. Let's go, Nikki. Let's go, bitch. Girl, you remember that. Let's go. Don't push me away. Look how bomb I am, bitch. Come on. Bitch, that bomb. It looks like it's going to blow up like a Big ass elephant looking bitch out of my face. Time will tell who lies. There should never be a time where another woman tells me something that you should have told me. You should have said out your mouth that you were going to rekindle things with her. That's where you're wrong. Because to be sidetracked like but that thought, is but, not okay. But you just said we were in a relationship, so why do I have to explain anything Baby. to you? Baby. Right Baby. Relationship. Dating is not well, a relationship. Well, she's here. She's here. We can, you know, we can all sit down and talk about it. Oh, we have company today. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. I'm sure you guys know each other, so. Well, we apparently met. <laughs> I should have smelled the scent of burnt plastic from that stank hoe walking in from a mile away. She comes in with a little key and opens the door like it's her house. Well, bitch, I did find this home for your man. I hope you love my taste. Baby, did you let her know? I did, and I'm letting her know. And Masika. Like I said before, this is my girl. This is who I'm with. She has the keys to my place. She's the first one to ever have the keys to my place or any of my properties. So but now, you understand so that now. that's not my problem. My problem is not what you two do. OK. My problem is I feel like you weren't being honest to me. And maybe you were telling us both things, different things no. at the same time. Well, I have a problem, too. You told me you my man. My man said he didn't even you. He said all you did was no, I didn't. And if no, you did that, no. you didn't that's do that the, great of a job. First of all, that's not true. Because he ended up over here still with me. That's, that's definitely not true. Well, maybe but I can help you out. First need help. Well, you know what? I, I heard that you're very good at it. Yeah. But no. I'm sure but my man told you. Oh, anyway. Other people did. So did you other people did. Baby, did you <laughs> No. I wish you both the best. Thank the you. The best that's of all luck. That's all I wanted to say. Good luck. Did you ever live with him like you should have done? Good luck. He never Okay. You never hit you know girl. what? So Sweetie, you know what? first of all, I'm gonna let you think what you want. I know and, what and it is. is. You've proven that you're a liar. I know what You've it is. You've just proven that. How is he a liar? How is he a liar? No, so so why you should know because you everybody's mad. I already told and you. I'm, and I'm gonna Google so how Nikki. Google.
Nikki is the baddest bitch. Who the that? Nikki, get the out. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, all right. No thanks. Cool. No thanks. Right. You enjoy that. Don't, don't, yeah. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Damn bitch. Why is she trying to hold my hand? We're not friends. Please. Tonight, my mom and I invited Molly over for a little bit of dinner and a lot of interrogation. It's time to get to the bottom of him and Masika's relationship once and for all. You ready to have dinner? Yes, I am. Have you uh, text Molly to see what time he'll be arriving? Yeah, he's going to be here soon. I already talked to him. Hmm. Well, I can hardly wait. Why is that? Well, I need to. I need some of my uh, questions to be answered. I tell my mom everything, so she knows all about my conversation with Masika. And believe me, she's not happy. But before she goes off on Molly, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope that he'll just come clean before my mom tries to attack him. Mom, just take it easy on him. Let him come and enjoy his I meal before said, you try to go in I mean, on him. I'm not going to just go in on him. OK, we'll just slow We're going to let him enjoy his nice five-course dinner, five-star. And then I have some questions. You can ask him whatever you want. Just, you know, you don't have to just interrogate him right when he sits down. Just let well, him I'm enjoy I'm not going to do that because I don't want him to choke on his dinner. I'm going to let him Exactly. Don't let him choke on his dinner. enjoy his dinner. Exactly. I exactly. agree. Exactly. Yeah. Molly thinks he's coming over for a nice family dinner, but I would be a little bit nervous if I was him because my mom is armed and dangerous. Okay, I helped out too over here. Well, of course you did. Don't you try to knock me in the corner. You know, I, I don't out. knock you on a corner without your touch. Hey, baby. What's up, Al? You know I made us dinner. You better come on in and eat before oh, you you're so good to me. I know I'm so tired of working. Mom's high. What are you doing? I've been helping, too. You know you get it from your mama. Yep. <laughs> How are you? Oh, starving. Chilling. Good. You guys just made me a whole feast. I wasn't expecting this. See, mom loves me for reals. <laughs> I do, and I love my daughter. Oh, for sure. Do you really love my daughter, like you say? 100% you know that. She knows that. I have something in my mind that's been really troubling me. I want to ask you. Tell me, baby, anything you want. There's been some stuff about Masika and the humiliation to put my daughter down. The text messages, the Instagram in bed with Masika. Nothing was intentional. It's just the way things happened. You know, like I said, we weren't together. Telling her that I mean, Masika she was, was the love of your life. I, don't, I, 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 I never told her. her. I never said Masika was the love of my life. But you did That's exchange not. I love yous, right? I told her I loved her because she kept telling me I love you. Okay, but you're the most amazing so that man means you're ever met. Oddly, blah, blah, that's, blah. Too, that's doing too much. The more Molly sits here and keeps denying and trying to sidestep his relationship with Masika, the angrier I'm getting. You want to sit here and say we were on a break for a couple days? So the f what? That doesn't mean you can lie to my face. So let me tell you the situation. So you know, I went and met up with her. You didn't tell me that. She said that you guys had sex. She said too many things about you I mean, and her. either way, I told you that we but did. But we Hold were on. together. I, I'm mad if you lied to me. Okay. You get, you see the difference? Because uh, that's course. our trust. So yeah, I never but lied. But if she's your Don't talk like that for anyone, I'm please. asking you. Then she told me you flew her to Vegas six times on the private jet, blah, blah, blah. But you told me she flew to Vegas and stayed in your house twice. So I don't know who the is really lying to me. The first time she came to Vegas, you know nothing would happen to me. I'm not that type of person. I don't just jump in bed with somebody the first time they, they come to Vegas. Yeah, but how long did she stay, Jamal? Hours. You mean she flew in and out? Yeah, she flew in the same the night. Same day. night? No, and next night she flew out, next stay morning. Did you So she stayed with you overnight? She spent the night with you? She stayed at the house overnight, yeah. Uh-huh. In your bed? Mm. Was she in your bed? Just answer her. Yeah, I can answer your question. Leave it to my mom to get to the truth with the quickness. Ma's hesitation is all I needed for me to know that he really did sleep with this chick. And the fact that he's been lying to me, I can't even believe I trusted his ass this whole time. I feel like you lied to me and I feel like you embarrassed me. I'm done. I'm good. I'm washing my hands with our relationship. You're not an angel. You're out there. I'm not an reason. angel, but I didn't do to you. But you and Masika, you crossed the line and you didn't even allow her to respect me. Bye. Jamal, you just gonna walk out? That's really adult of you, Jamal. Hey, Nikki, you're the lowest thing I've ever met in my life. Okay. Never, never again. Okay, so I'm the lowest thing, but the bitch you were with is in low. I'm glad that we made that very clear, Jamal. Okay, you don't want to talk. I don't want to talk either. I'm good. That's it for me. 
The fact that you sit here, you cheat on me, you lie to me, and the fact that you don't even respect me enough to tell me the truth to my face, I'm done. I have no problem getting rid of this Get rid of his flowers, they are dead. Get rid of all his shit and close the door. So, you know, actually, this is not just a movie theater. I actually own a piece of this. Nikki was looking pretty fly the other night at the club and couldn't wait to get that juiciness all to myself. So I figured, you know, I boss up my swag a little bit, showing my movie theater that I invested into. It's so sexy. It is sexy. Maybe Fizz and I have a little bit more in common than I thought. Him showing me his theater is introducing his whole new boss side. And everybody knows Nikki Baby is the baddest boss lady out there. So what's up, Nikki? You know, I've been working on uh, my lingerie line, Nude by Nikki. That's dope. I've been really working a lot on it, and I want to meet up this guy, um, Jason Lee. Jason Lee? Come on, mama. This really is a small town. I mean, you talking about the same guy that popped up at lunch with me and my sis April spewing all this messy shit about Kamaya, and now Nikki's talking about getting help from him? I don't know, I think this dude is trouble. He said he was willing to help me with my brand of my lingerie and help me promote it. Yeah. You don't like him? I don't know, man. Just watch yourself with him, you know? It's funny, because he just bumped into me and April had a sit down, and he just invited himself in our conversation and our lunch. You know, he was just going into, like, my personal like, like what? Like, trying to, like, tell me about, like, Kamaya. I'm not really worried about Jason. I will keep Fizz's concern in the back of my mind, but what really bothers me is the fact that Kamaya is still lingering in the background, talking trash, spreading rumors about me. What Fizz really needs to do is cut all ties with that little girl. And what's up with so, your little situation with, you know, Miss Kamaya? That's done already. I just really gotta get her stuff out of my house. I can help you get her stuff out. What are you gonna do? Well, I'll just be like, you know what? Here you go with your lopsided ass titties, and don't come back. That's so mean, though, Nikki. You know, she been running her mouth about me, so I had no problem getting rid of her stuff. Wow. What has she been saying? Saying I'm plastic and this and that. I don't know where that stems from. That's, that's crazy. So not only is Kamaya out there running her mouth about me, but now she's bashing Nikki. Come on, I'm about to shut this immature down. Well, enough about, you know, Kamaya. I didn't really bring you here to talk about that. What's up with us? I do miss you. Well, then you have to start seeing me more. Like, that's you too. You Phone works it, both I mean, ways. of course, it's a two-way street. Yeah. Well, you'll see me more. Yeah. So, you know, I brought you some of your favorite candy. You know. Are you gonna <laughs> let me feed it to you or what? Come on. Come here. I have been spending a lot of time together lately. I'm really feeling the chemistry between us, but before we get any further, there's one little issue that needs to be addressed. His trash-talking little ex-ho, Kamaya. Thank you for breakfast. You're welcome. You know I'm a woman of many talents. Today, Kamaya's supposed to pick up her stuff from Fizz's house, so I figure I stick around for some moral support and plus give her a little piece of my mind, myself. It look good. Do you like it? This is all my new friend Nikki stuff right here. No, I love it. So you know I met up with Jason Lee, the blogger, the other day. So I invited Hazel. So when Hazel came, he starts like attacking her. He's like, oh, you're homeless. And he just like went whoop and like threw a drink in her face. And oh, I was wow. just like, I don't respect so, you, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't like that. You know, and plus, I tried I was... to tell you about this dude though, man. Like, started going into all of this stuff about how Kamaya was hurt or she felt played, like I played her. And I'm like, what? Like, Yeah, and it's annoying that she's talking about me too. Because I, I don't even know her like that. I got nothing right. to do with her. Well, you know, me and you about to put an end to that today because, you know, this bitch packed up anyway. Kamaya's been running her mouth talking about Fizz and hating on me. And everybody knows you shouldn't be talking this or hating on Miss Nikki Baby when you got a pair of some lopsided titties, sweetheart. I'm gonna put her in her place quick, fast, and in a hurry. She doesn't need to be running that mouth. I don't respond well to that. But you know, I'm not worried about her. When I walked in the house to get my belongings and saw Nikki sitting on the counter, to say I was shocked is an understatement. One, I'm thinking, what is she doing here? Two, why is she dressed the way she is? And three, what does this have to do with me? Hi, come on. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I'm fine, you know, girl. Like, you know, me and you never had a problem before. But I feel like now me and you have a problem because you've been running your mouth. Wait, wait, what? There's no reason for it. 
to be getting back to me from Jason Lee came and sat down with me in April. The plastic jokes, like, when you hating on another woman? I wasn't okay. hating on you. Well, you talking about me. I you wasn't know? talking about you. So you're shit. running your mouth? Say Nikki's this and okay, that. Nikki. You don't need to do all that. Okay. What you need? Y'all are out or something, right? Okay. You can have him. Yo, yo, yo. That's not a problem. First, first off, you're not about to keep trying. trying. You don't yeah, shut the up. That's what you are gonna do. Cause you a little lying ass. Yeah, that's what you are. This is ridiculous. If Nikki and Fizz think I'm just gonna sit here and take this like a little punk, they got another thing coming. And if you're gonna come at me aggressive, be ready to take it back, cause I can dish it too. You're not gonna talk to me like that. Well, well you gonna get your. And you gonna get the out of like that, Nikki, and you that's damn sure I'm not gonna talk to me like that, cause I'll beat your ass. Please do. So don't do that. Please do. So don't do that. You need help. So with your you can get your stuff. Hey babe, I did you a favor. I made you a gift to take to the next next man's house. I want you there. Shaver. Oh, really? This is what you made yeah. for you? Take them with them? Take your car. Yeah, I'm gonna take your car. 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 Take Oh, hey, my you can sell this shit some value. Stupid Maybe Nikki can get some more surgery. She needs it, ugly ass bitch. It's just another day of being fabulous. You know how it is. They asked Miss Nikki Baby to be the face of this beauty bar party. And since I'm always looking for ways to get my face and brand out there, you know I'm gonna work it. This is really nice. I mean, everything I do is nice. Oh my God, looks like you have some company, honey. Yeah. Nikki invited me to her event to cover for Hollywood Unlocked. But really, I need to talk to her about that hazel drink thing because that's not how I roll. And I convinced my girl Kamaya to come along with me because she's young in this Hollywood game and she shouldn't be making enemies right out the gate. So I wanted her and Nikki to have a chance with this whole little fizz thing to bed once and for small. Oh, there's Nikki. You wanna, I'm gonna go over there and talk to you. Wanna it really took some convincing from my friend Jason to get me to go with him to this event. After feeling like I was completely blindsided and disrespected by Nikki, I didn't know how things were gonna turn out. But, you know, Hollywood being this big, it's inevitable that Nikki and I are gonna run into each other at some point, so I figured, why not be the bigger person and put what we went through in the past? What's up, Jason? Hey, what's up? What's up, man? How are you, Jason? Hello. Oh, okay. I've heard about you. Have you? Hello. Hello. Hi, Nikki. Oh, okay. What's I haven't up, seen man? you in a while, so I just wanted to come over and talk to you. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah, we haven't had a chance to catch up since... Since Hazel. Yeah. When I saw SpongeBob on steroids waltz his little ass in the room, I knew he was the type of clown to throw a drink on a female. And I have zero tolerance for that kind of bullshit. I think that was really, really, really a sucker. But you ass weren't move. there. It doesn't matter. You don't throw, you weren't, you weren't. You don't Listen, throw a drink. I'm not gonna talk to your chihuahua. Chihuahua, wait, 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 I know this little fluffy marshmallow boy did not just call me a chihuahua. I'ma show you better than I can tell you. I'ma wipe that little stupid smirk off your little silly looking face. Sorry. Let's have a conversation yeah. and tone it down, honey. You are at her event. This is the same sh you did last did time. Did what? Last, did last time, time when? with the hazel, that What'd ambush. You that ambush. Ambush that who? Happened. At the same time, if you take a business her. meeting with me, then yes. you shouldn't bring somebody there to ambush me. I didn't say nobody. That's you, you started to with Hazel. I'm trying to you, 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 okay. you got water okay. on you. Okay. You got water on you. That was unnecessary. You don't All walk the up to me and say my chihuahua. No Listen, you, say, you can you scream in here. Chihuahua. I'm going to kill you online. Let's be mature about it. Let's be adults. So I really thought that me and Jason were coming here to make peace and be grown-ups about the situation. But instead, Nikki and this girl who I don't even know just started going off and throwing drinks out of nowhere. I didn't even get a chance to talk to her face to face about our situation. I have a conversation with you. You walked into my event. That's what it is. I walked into your event and said hi to you, Nikki, because I'm not a bitter bitch, okay? So you walked in and you threw something at me the last time I made you a gift. That was childish. Honey, when I was your age, I wasn't living the way you were, baby. Hey, if you want to f your way to the top, do what you got to do. Fizz told me she was an appetizer, and every girl he's with is an appetizer. Well, he wasn't That's talking what he about Miss Nikki, baby, baby. Can I say something? No, can I say something? no you can't say something. You gonna get your hand out my face. You gonna get your hand out my face. We gonna do. start there. This was just ugly, and clearly Nikki is the same as the company she keeps. But it's all good, because this is what I live for. I'm sure all my readers are gonna love to hear about what went down. Let me walk you out, because you You don't have bitch. to walk me out. You my bitch. See. She my bitch. And you're tired. Bye. Guess what?
Thank you're you a honey. joke. Everything about you, about you is fake. Thank you, honey. From body, everything. Yes. If you're yes. to yes. tell yes. stories, bitch, we would really be having a conversation. What you going to talk about? Tell me, Jason. we're not talking. Jason, I'm going to give you some stuff to say, all right, babe? I'm going to tell you what you're saying. Let me say this. Take it here. Let me say this. Oh, trust me, I got it. Write your stories, honey. What was that? After Nas invited me to the store opening she was hosting, I decided to stop by and clarify a few things for her. Hey, how are you? Hey, thanks for coming. You're welcome. What's going on? TT and I were gonna collaborate with Nas for our fashion show, but after I found out what type of host she was, I was not gonna go that route. How are you? You look good. Thank you. I've been good. Just, you know, busy and stuff. What's going on with the fashion show? When do you want to meet up for, you know, to get all the girls? We're not going to go that direction. Okay. We already found women. Okay, that's So we're going to go a different direction. Okay. You know, and it's not no shade or nothing to you, but mm -hmm. you know I'm Nia's friend at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And when I met up with you, I was like, oh, she's cool. But then, like, when the, the conversation started going, you're like, I was asking you questions like, okay, so are you guys and Are y'all in a relationship? You know, mm -hmm. you remember. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, like, I mean, I don't really, like, respect it. How do you not respect it? You, Molly Mo, and Masika were in a situation, and you're, like, trying to point the finger and tell, saying because why I you don't Because I was a girlfriend. Be... I wasn't in the other shoes. And I was the girlfriend you were in as the well. shoes. No, I wasn't. What the f is wrong with Nikki? All that surgery must have gave her amnesia, because she used to be in the same situation that I am right now. So I have no idea who she thinks she is while sitting here trying to give me a lecture. This is the way I see it, OK? Mm -hmm. He's publicly on social media with his woman, right? And you know that. And he's still hitting my phone. So what you fail to realize is that you only know some parts of the story. So what's the story so you, then? So you need to like, before you start speaking about stuff that you don't know, you should know your facts first. I know my facts. If he's openly in a relationship with her, claiming her, then even if you f***ed him yesterday, even if you f***ed him this morning, it don't mean because he's still holding hands with this lady and he's still with her. It is what it is. You have your opinion. And your opinion is I'm the, just telling you, I yeah. feel like, you know, as a woman, you should just value yourself more. Well, how about you go twerk per usual on somebody else's and stop worrying about okay. mine? Security, can you get her out okay, this way? Okay, you're getting a little too close okay, to me. Okay, don't touch me. No, get, 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 put no, your hand away no, from me, get honey. out. You're not welcome you're anymore. You're not about to tell me what to you do. You leave. You fail to realize you you're not about to talk to me like that. You're you not about to act leave. like that with me. You got a problem, you can go. Get out my face for no. real, because you're about to have a real big problem with me if you keep getting in my no. face. Get out my face, honey. Get out my face, baby. No. Okay, now we're really about to have a problem. You want to touch me one more time? <laughs> Bitch. Aw, so cute. Did you just throw up? Yes, because your face made me throw oh, up, bitch. All that plastic surgery. Oh, look like, at Come on, bitch. That still looks so beautiful. Thank you. What the f was that? I don't know if this bitch can't hold her liquor, or she might just be intimidated by the presence of Miss Nikki, baby. But either way, honey, that was not cute. Oh, you're going to throw my water at me? You like it. <laughs> oh, lucky. Girl, bye. That was really cute. That's my other she's Keep throwing up. I'll be sick too with all that nasty you got in your stomach. I still look beautiful. And bitch, you're a bum. On our last date, Drew was talking about spending more time with me and building things, but he forgot to mention to me that he's living with his baby mama. So I set up a date real quick, and me being the generous person I am, brought him some presents. I'm a boss, and the men I date are bosses, so if they don't have one home to go to, they'll have several other options before they live with somebody that they don't get along with. What's up? What's going on? I brought you something. Did you? I did. What's that? It's a housewarming gift. <laughs> trying to be funny. No, that's for you and East. I'm a little confused about all of this right now because you don't come across like you want to be exclusive with me or, you know, put me as a priority or anything. We talk on text, but that's about it. I had to move out of my place because of a gas leak in Porter Ranch. The fact that you have to live with her is weird to me. Obviously, you may not watch the news because it was a state of emergency. It just doesn't make sense So to everybody me. had to move. No, why don't you get on your own two feet? Okay. And stay by yourself. Can, why you got to stay with her? Stay that doesn't make myself. sense. Maybe this is why things don't click to you. You're right. You don't, you don't, don't, you, don't, you don't take it in. I'm not the one at home as well with someone I don't want to be with, so maybe things don't click to yeah, you. Yeah, you honey. also don't have a kid. You're right. I may not be a mother, but I have enough common sense to know that this whole situation is f***ed up. Monice is telling me that she wants to get his sperm and have another child, so I wouldn't be surprised if they got it popping one night, but this whole mess is some 
I don't want to be in. I'm not with Moniece. I wanted to give my son That's a sense of what family is like in one household. So handle your so business. So me being a good father and doing what I should be doing, that's what comes first. You know, I like Nikki, and I thought we had something that we could build on. But you know, this is the girl that you basically got to schedule an appointment with to see once every two weeks. If she wanted me to be an open book, she should have acted like she gave a and took the time to get to know me. If I'm trying to constantly see you and you constantly doing stuff and constantly don't have the time, then You're it's right. like, see, okay, you got, you got something else to do. Last time I spoke to you, I told you face to face, I said, I'm not saying I want to be with you tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. I said, let's have fun exactly. and figure it out. Do I not deserve this much respect? I feel like when you want to sit down and be a woman and put, some, okay. put a man in a, in a, in well, a priority I'm position, not, I'm not. then you could deserve some like that. I'm not. But right now, what's the point of me even telling you if we not exclusive? It ain't your business. You're right, it's not my business. I am so done. I don't have any time or energy to invest in this drama, and I don't let no man play me. But since I do like to end things on a positive note, I do believe that some congratulations are in order. You're right. So okay. I hope you're happy. Okay, and I'm good. And I have something else for you, too, because Monique told me she want to have another kid with you. She was like, well, I think he, I, he owes me his sperm to have another kid with him. <laughs> so that's why I left you this onesie. So you guys figure out your You see your nephew. No, my nephew's a honey. My nephew's six. I don't have any He's not this I got, I got, I don't have any babies. Okay. You should give her that. Out of here. In the club with my bad bitches. Got a gun to my tongue, about to blast. Better run when I come, I'm a psycho. Break in your house, take a spouse, I'm a psycho. I'm a bad girl, I'm a, I'm a bad girl. Okay. I'm a bad girl, I'm a, I'm a bad girl. Today I'm doing a photo shoot for Nude by Nikki, and my lingerie line is nothing but sexy. So I had to get a true sex symbol to show it off. Rosa Costa is not letting me down. This girl's so damn bad, she made me want to take my clothes off and join her too. You want me to come join you? Come here. The only thing better than one bad bitch is two bad bitches. And I can't think of a better way to sell sexy than the two of us showing off my life. What you think? You like him? Oh yeah, I like him. Yes, everything. Okay, so I think we're actually done for the day. So okay, great. Maybe you can just grab your stuff. All right, thank I you very much. Yes, thank, thank you. You did perfect, and I'm glad you that you actually joined me. Like you was trying to act all cute and. That's right, everybody. Nikki's new boo is a fine-ass woman. Or should I say, my other boo. What started off as a friendship has turned into something a little bit more. <laughs> I've never been serious with a woman before, but I can't lie, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Rose and I have a lot in common. I'm open to seeing where our relationship goes. Okay, so look, I wanted to tell you something. What was that? You know, I'm always honest with you, and you know, I'm so close to you, and I love and adore you. You're special, so just know that. Well, you are special to me, too. That's all I'm saying. For the most part these days, I am more attracted to girls, but Nikki is really special. We have a, a very special bond because we're friends first. She's really sexy, she's really, really attractive, and I just feel like we were a perfect match. So you're not seeing anybody else? No, I mean, you know, like right now, I'm just like having fun figuring out, but if I had a man on the side, would you be bothered? Yeah. Just make sure that you tell me what's going on with you. You know, I wouldn't lie to you ever. Okay, so I may have not told Rosa the whole truth, but until we decide that we want to be exclusive, I don't want to tell her every single little detail of what I'm doing because it'll just hurt her, and that's the last thing I want to do. Plus, I don't really want to ruin the fun when I don't know where my relationship is going with her or Safari. Do you think there's a difference between men and women lovers? What's the yeah. point of having a if you can use it for the right reason? We don't have to worry about these men. Oh, I don't. You shouldn't. Because, I mean, <laughs> I don't feel like I give you a reason to worry about nothing. Do I? Not yet. Do I? To 
Tonight I have a huge club appearance, and I had TT and Nia come by so they could finally meet Miss Rosa Acosta. Since they know about this crazy love triangle I've gotten myself into, I trust them both not to say anything about Safari to Rosa. They were shocked when I talked about you. Really? Yeah. If you look like to her history of guys, <laughs> it's not like the greatest list. I had to go through a few bad ones to yeah, get one. Yeah, We've been through like all of the bad ones. <laughs> Rosa seems like a super sweet girl, and she seems like she adores Nikki. I just hope that Nikki is careful with this whole love triangle thing she has going on. That's All right, well, look, I'm about to go get dressed in the back and get myself together. Okay, All right? We'll be back. Okay, <laughs> bye. After talking to the Mondem, I need to really boss up in this relationship and find out where we all go, because right now, I'm lost. No matter how hot the guys think it is that Nikki's dating Rosa, if that's going on behind my back, that's betrayal. I saw on the gram that she has an event coming up. I'm about to pull up 12 o'clock on her like this and see what's really good. Pretty much take anything, and I felt okay. like that was the same thing. Okay. The only thing was, was like me. What's up? Hi. How you doing? How are you? Hello. What's up? Hey, you look Hi. nice. Where's Nikki at? I don't know. Oh, well, damn. I don't know what to do. I'm like, Nia, should we like hold him hostage here or? <sighs> I don't want to be involved, honestly. <laughs> Dog, I want to. Hey. What's up? What's up? Oh my God. I didn't think they would catch me slipping like this. Now I have absolutely no choice but to come clean. Well, moment of truth, guys. I asked you if there was any other type of side fishy business going on, and you said, no. This is not fishy business. OK, let me If I don't see know that. about it, it's fishy business. Who well, are let, you? Me, let me talk. I, I have not been totally honest. I have been seeing both of you. I just can't believe that Nikki actually lied to me. We agreed that we were going to be honest. I just don't understand what's going on right now. Like, excuse me. Y'all like in a full-blown relationship, or you just dip on some, some ball game vibes? Uh, what? I've been intimate with her, and I... What's intimate mean for y'all two? I think you know what intimate means. No, nah, I don't. Enough to make each other feel really good. Mm. <laughs> what? Mm, OK. I just don't understand why you care so much if she's not your girlfriend. You don't know what me and her have been doing. Honey, you guys are not building a goddamn thing. You living like a double life right now. Why are you so upset you we're not in a relationship? You tell me that you're not dealing with anyone Another else. Another man. Come on, that's very deceiving. But she doesn't have to be explaining you a goddamn thing anyways. When I first met Nikki, I fell for her. Aside from her being beautiful and a boss, I feel like we got a connection. I made it clear from the jump. I wasn't going to be seeing anybody, and she said the same exact thing. And then if that was to change, we were going to let each other know. But this is what I want to know, because she's acting like feisty right now. I want whatever you have. I want the both of y'all. What do you think this is? You walking in here trying to say, hey, can I too? That's not cool. You're not that type of guy. So don't come in here on that. That's what you're doing. No, it's, but no, it's you're just doing it I, separately. What I share with her is different than what I share with you. Nikki's sitting there trying to be mad at me, and I'm the one who walked in and caught her kissing another chick. I don't work like that. Bro, I'm waiting for you to leave. Like, you're taking forever to leave. I'm going to leave. Y'all two are going to be able to have this couch and do oh, whatever y'all want to do to each other. We but will. don't think that when I leave this, I'm never going to speak to her or see her again. I'll kick your ass. Of course I feel bad for lying to them both and not being totally honest. My plan was never to hurt their feelings, and that's exactly what I just did. But right now, there's honestly nothing I can say at this moment to make either one of them feel better about the situation. What I'm not going to do is fight for your attention and your love with somebody like him. You know what I mean? You need to open your eyes because a lot of people hang out with you for the wrong There's reasons. There's qualities that he has that I really do appreciate. And even if you don't see it, I'm telling you. Okay, go. And there are things that I feel with you that, you know, it, it, it's all se it's separate. This is some bull even If you want to date a loser now, well, go ahead, girl, I do it. But it's just like, I'm not going to put myself in a position where I have to even, like, let this guy stare at me like, oh, I'm not uh, telling you to put yourself in the position. No, but you already did. I'm still figuring out it is what we are even. 
Even with me and you, you're like, we're just hanging out, we're just hanging out. Okay, if we're just hanging out, do I owe anybody a mother explanation? That's exactly what I thought. But then I have to hear from Safari. I didn't expect him to room. walk in here and Okay, do all but that. it was gonna happen eventually. Rosa, I, I, I'm not one of those people who can build lies on lies on lies. So I was really gonna tell you like oh, this, you, this week. You I are. really was. No, you I'm not. Are. I was waiting for the moment to tell you. All right. I do feel bad. This is what happens when you wait. I was just in there crying. And then I met this girl who was being charged for murder. Let's sit down, my feet kind of yes, hurt. Yes, girl. Bailing TT out of jail has me really worried about my friend. I don't think she even sees how out of control her life is right now. This jail sh all the sh that you going oh, through? Oh, it's a setback. It's just, yeah. for what? For what? What do you think it is? Do you think it's your temper? Do you think it's the alcohol? I think that the alcohol ignites my temper. Everybody can turn up and drink and all that, but sometimes I feel like you kind of remind me of my brother. Mm -hmm. And it scares me because I think that you might have a little bit of a problem with it. At this point, it's just about growing and building your career, everything, and you can't keep taking these 10 steps back. You know, people are always like, you know, when are you gonna put out a new, you know, song or a new album or something? And I'm always like, I'm working on it. I was too embarrassed to say and admit, you know, that I had a, a, a an alcohol problem. God has spared me so many times. And if I don't get it together now, it's just like, kind of like a slap in the face. Honestly, my reputation for drinking and turning up, being involved in all types of mess, is holding me back. To think that I'm the only person to blame for my career not being where I want it to be, honestly sucks. Andrew was like, yeah, sometimes she just, even in the morning, she'll wake up and have a couple shots before she goes in the shower. And I'm just like, well, do you feel like it's a problem to the point where you need help, well, like, to go to rehab? I, I'm strong enough to go cold turkey. I just wasn't ready to go cold turkey you know, because like, I, I had so much on my mind and I'm like, I know I'm going to want to drink. So I'm not going to make a promise to myself that I'm going to stop right now. My brother Omar said he had things under control before he passed, but he really didn't. I see a lot of similar habits in Sierra that I did in my brother. She may really have a problem and she needs to stop it before it gets too late. Tierra, like I can't explain to you like the hardest feeling in the world. Like going to the hospital and she just say, you have to say bye. And I just hold his hand and I'm like, please God, wake him up. Just please, I'm begging and pleading. I feel like I should have been there more. I feel like I could have done more. You have to be careful with your decisions because if something happens to you, what's going to happen to you, you know, your friends and your mom and people who love you, you know, and I, I feel like that's something that you forget, you know? <laughs> to hear Nikki compare me to her brother is quite shocking, and that makes me very, very sad because that could be me, you know? So it's more reasons for me to get my together other than myself. It's everybody that's rooting for me and that loves me and wants to see me do well. Whatever you need, I'm here. And always talk to me because I'm not here to judge you. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm here to support you and, and, and help you. Yeah. Nice ass house. I know. Yeah, this right here. It's gonna do it for show. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? It's freezing out here. It's cold. Man. How you doing? Good. How are you? How you doing? Hi. Man, so look, I told you that I had something special for you. We've been friends for a while. This friendship is cool, but man, <laughs> lately I was thinking about you, honestly. You so cold, you know what I'm saying? I should just get a whole like, ice sculpture. Wow. <laughs> so cold, oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? That's cute, because nobody's ever done that for me. I'm trying to be as unique as possible with you. Well, you man. was I really think... unique. You got a lady without a <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, see. she ain't got no pool, she ain't got no nipples, you got but it. you know, it's okay. I didn't know how to come at you, you know what I'm saying? So the best thing I felt like I could do. It just give you some. I show you that I'm interested. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to shoot one shot. What's up with it? So what's up, man? I'm trying to take you out of something. Well, you know, we know each other for a while. I don't mind going out with you as friends. You know, you my homie, so if you want to go out, I'm cool with that. 
I'm so blessed right now, man. I'm just happy I'm about to get a chance. Are you gonna the titty? It's ice cold. You get one, Maybe like you one. should. No, I'm gonna get that one. Oh, you get that one. <laughs> you sucked on my titty well, right I now. Good, <laughs> man. What are we gonna do? This? We're gonna go out on this attic. Set it up. You know, you the boss, man. You got the deal. You got the house. You got the crib. You got the lady with the okay. ice. Okay. Get yourself together. We're gonna do that ASAP. I'm gonna call my boy. We're gonna send it All up. All right, well, let's go. We coming with you. Because you the one with the money. Beside <laughs> me, of course. <laughs> to TC about this woman claiming she's Akbar's wife on social media. She acted like it's old news. Get you, coming in. Uh, like you the lead singer the I'm the only singer, and I know that's right, bitch. There has to be something more going on that TC does not know about. So parents set up a meeting with Sade, you know, the one that calls herself Akbar's wife. First of all, how did you even get this girl to agree to come here? She has a clothing line. I reached out to her on social media, basically told her that you're interested in investing in time. So you use me, bitch. You use I me. I told you I need your help. I said I'm gonna use so just play your part. Look, I had to think fast and come up with something quick. And since Nikki got the bags, why not lie and tell Sade she wanted to invest into her stupid ass clothing line? Hi, lady. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Nice Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Hi. Nikki, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sade. Nice to meet nice you to in meet person. You. So I reached out to you because I saw your clothing line. Right. Yes, and Miss Nikki, she loves your clothes. So what is your relationship? What do you hear? Like, oh, this is my home girl. You know, we have She thinks she my manager. Yeah, so, you you know, see what I'm saying? I gotta yeah. check the money. <laughs> and I'm just nosy. Right. You feel me? So talking of being nosy, I was like on your page. And I see that you're like with someone that's dating my friend, Tierra Marie. Pause. Um, are we here on business or are y'all here to talk about my personal relationship? Well, it was like, uh, it was kind of like, it is still business, but we just kind of want to see because we want to tell you what we knew too. Okay. Because if this is your man too, I think that woman to woman, you would want to know too what we know. Right? Lately, Tierra's been dating this guy who's been on your page. I just want to know, is the guy that's on your page, is that your husband? That is my husband. Are you guys really married or are you just like call yourself wife? No, we are really like, married. I'm I don't play those type of games. Okay. If I'm dating somebody, I'm dating somebody. If that's my man. come out here, you stay in a hotel or y'all stay no, together? we have a spot here. We have a spot in Atlanta. We have a spot in so Dallas. how the hell he be I'm just confused. I'm not Because they're Cause always they together. together in the house too. They're always together? Always together. Oh. They're always together? If they're always together, then why are we together? You know, clearly you're in the picture. You right. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they, obviously they have some type of arrangement. I mean, so you don't know about the arrangement? What I'm saying is, whatever he does, that's his business. I don't oh, have so anything to do with it. have, like, an open marriage. That's not what I'm saying, Paris. I don't know you well enough to even I I indulge. Maybe this woman acts like she knows about Tia and Akbar's relationship. If that's what their arrangement is, that's fine. But leave my friend the hell out of this. If she has any questions, she can come and ask me. He's a womanizer. He's, a, he's not a you don't no. think he's a womanizer? Don't disrespect my husband. But he's dating my friend. But okay, but he's not a womanizer. So, don't say so stuff. So what does like that mean? Though? Don't say stuff. But he's married to you and he's dating my friend. So that's not a womanizer. So what is it? Y'all don't, don't know what she got going on. Maybe she don't want to tell you. I don't know. But so he's no, to no, no. and they're not. Are you? Are y'all in the bedroom? I know for a fact that. Are you in the bedroom when they're having sex? Are okay. you in the bedroom when they're having sex? How the do you know if they? Either this woman's in an open marriage or she's just in denial. But it seems like she don't even care that her husband's banging my friend. It's more to this than she's admitting, and I can feel it. She wants to invest in my company. No, she or... don't. She okay, don't. well then, what the f am I still here exactly. for? I don't know why. Right. Right. I don't know why. Bye. 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 Have a good Bye. Day. Bitch, you brought me oh, here. Wait a minute, okay. Brooke told me that Akbar, of the other woman, works at a gym called MDE, so it wasn't really that hard to track down. Me and Nikki agreed to link up at the spot, but I ain't running down on this girl unless Nikki's here. This girl looks like she ready to go. Like, she looks like she's ready to go. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? This is good. How long have you been working out? I work out all my life. I took it serious about five years and a half or so. So you've been working out training for like five, six years? Yeah. Wow, so this is your gym? Yeah. Wow, so ah, this I is have it for about two years. So what does MDE stand for? MDE stands for Music Does Entertain. My dude is into music. Oh, so this is you and your boo gym? Mm -hmm. What's his name? His name is Akbar. Oh, oh that sounds strong. Yeah. Oh, that's like a Yo, I'm real good, because this was too easy. It just fell right in my lap. Thanks, girlfriend number two. It worked out. Hey, hey how can I help you? Hey. I was just trying to, you know, roll I told you I'm Paris. starting to work out. You guys know 
shoulder? Yeah. yeah. So okay. I'll just start and ripping. Alejandra. You Thank see, you. she got the cute body too, but your body ain't like hers though. This my girl Alejandra. She cool. Yeah. And she girl, guess what? Work out. What? It's true. Well, yeah, that's a man. What you talking about? Akbar? Yeah. Akbar, everybody's a man, clearly. Hold on, hold on. Why you want to know about him so much? Because, because he's, he's dating, not, our, he's dating, friend. dating no, our friend. No, he's dating our friend, Tierra. Tierra. Tierra Marie. Okay. So you're fine with that? Yeah. You're aware that he's married to Sade. I have a very clear understanding of what's going on. So everybody's like a side bitch then? Like side? Like, because I don't know why you want to know so many questions about him. Because the way that you know Tierra, she don't know you. So to be fair to my friend, I'm finding out information so I can tell her because she's hurting. I think she has value to her. I mean, no. she's driving one of her cars. He's adding to her. Wait, she's driving one of y'all cars? Yeah. It's like a sister wife. It's not. I think That's you're the person that I choose. I think you're manipulating. I think you want to be part of it. I don't want to be part of it. I don't, I don't think want can. him, baby I don't girl. Think you can. He might want me now, but I don't want him. Your soul is ugly. But he's a liar and have three different bitches. So who the f is better? You're a clown. But I get you're money, though. You know what? Okay. Get on so my you're right. I, I don't need you here. Get out. I'm not getting out. You don't want to make me get you out. Oh, yeah? Hey, time out, time out, time out. I love Nikki and all, but I ain't going to jail fighting Chewbacca. At the end of the day, we got every receipt we came here for. Let's take this to Tierra. Nikki, let's just, let's just go. Nikki. All right, let's, let's go. go. Yeah, please. Go. No problem. And next time you, you know, if you feel like I'm coming to the strip club, if you want to make some more extra money, I got let's you. Let's have more. All right, please. invited me over to the studio with him and Rockstar, but what he doesn't know is that I know he's been spreading lies, that he's been sleeping with me. Yeah, Lucci's had his eyes on me for years, but he's never had his hands on me. So he needs to keep it a hundred and find somebody else to gossip about. So when it comes to him, just don't say nothing to me. It's like, whoo. What's going on, La Brittany? Hey, boys. What's up? Damn, baby, what's up? I ain't getting no love? Not really, no, I'm kind of mad. What's I going was on? in London and you know I had a conversation with Brooke and we playing this game or whatever. Never have I ever. And she's like, you know, never have I ever solo. And I was like, well, neither have I. So where is she getting this information? I don't know. But I didn't know people still lying in 2018. But I can't even be huh? you. You live in a lie. Your house, the cars you got, the money you throw in the club. Oh, you can't come at my like that. It's like you, you know That's what I'm saying? That's so ridiculous. I don't want anybody speaking on me, talking about my sex, like anything, anything. Well, it could baby, be about my family, it could be about my money, my Why are you, why are you, would you be ashamed of a like me? I'm ashamed of anybody. I'm 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 just telling you as a woman, like, keep my name out of your mouth, period. Let's do that. I didn't speak your mouth. No, you didn't. You a liar. Right. On my son. I was trying to be a gentleman, but a got me up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know All right, good, good. Look, just try to piss you out of the money there. I'll get that to the ugly at your club. Lucci is a broke poser who owes thousands of dollars to the strip club. And me, Miss Nikki, I'm going to help him pay his debt. I tried keeping it cute, but he insisted on being disrespectful, so I'm here to set the record straight. Brittany, where you at? Come here. I'm, I'm about to go make sure the girl good. All right, go ahead. Your that was crazy. Bye, y'all. I was not trying to disrespect Nikki in any way, but I don't know why she lying. Trying to act like it didn't happen. Nikki, you know what's up. It happened. So what the hell going on? It's like Brooke told her that you smashed. Marcus oh. told me. This is what happened when you have a private conversation around Marcus Black. He just gonna go back and say what the you said. We finna sit down like men, we finna hash this out. And this I'm up so cause I'm a with Marcus and I really with Brooke. I don't even know that name no more. You ask me, I'm the new name is who? Like a owl. This snip. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. We were talking about London. You guys were playing the Never Have I Ever game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why did you make the comment? Sliding Nikki to say never have I ever slept with Solo Lucci. It was a catty moment between Nikki and I. If you watched okay. it, she said never have I ever had a threesome, and it was a little moment where it got deep, deep. It got Some deep. people it alluded deep. to me being the one that had a threesome. Okay. So I took it personal, and okay. then I threw a jab back. Unless you physically see somebody in me, don't speak to me about my. Number one. And then if we gonna keep it all the way straight, okay. Tierra was with me the night he tried to say that this fake ass threesome happened. We ain't talking about like, no threesome. We ain't not saying in nothing this about that. Situation, which is fine. So that's she. that fake ass. Your never went in me. That's some fake ass. Tierra, this, this go with me. 
Yeah, you're right there. Did it go in me? Come on, Nikki. So you were there with me that night? Are you serious? Not that I know of. I said, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. God damn her. T.T., you grown so much. You not finna sit here and lie so, like that. Tier, what are you saying? You was there, What's, what happened? and you not finna he's, sit he's here and lie like that. If you want me to keep exactly it solid, no keep point. it solid, too. I didn't see no no so I'm not gonna speak on sis. Are we playing in semantics? Are you guys saying that? That's what I'm gonna say. Nina. You're saying Nina, no. Nina, what I'm telling you is, look at me. I understand I want to me, too. I totally get it, okay? <laughs> I'm a fine-ass bitch. <laughs> at the end of the day, Nikki gonna still with me. Nikki gonna call. I don't call. lie. I never talked to you since then. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. Did, Nikki, you were just at my house like two weeks ago. Tierra was there with me. She knows just, what's up. All right. Period. Listen. So we're not about to sit here and do all this. All right. Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right. Cheer it.